Border Patrol agents in New Mexico don't have the tools they need to do their job. That's the claim at the center of a new push in Congress being led by New Mexico's Senators Tom Udall and Martin Heinrich. News 13's Catherine Mazzone is here to explain. That's right, Kim. The pair wrote a letter to the Customs and Border Patrol Commissioner asking him to do something about it. The senators say they're specifically talking about the problems seen in the New Mexico boot heel near Deming, Lordsburg, and Columbus. They say residents don't feel safe and they're raising concerns. These agents have to cover a vast area, and according to Udall and Heinrich, they don't have nearly enough resources. Udall and Heinrich ask they be provided with more horses, ATVs, and night vision technology, to name a few. They say not having these tools leads to frustration, high agent turnover, and failures in the system. Just last month, the commissioner spoke about the need to improve the agency. We have to be an agile and a flexible organization. Sometimes that uh, bumps up against uh, bureaucracy, but I think we can work through many of those things and already have. The Border Patrol Security Task Force, started in 2003 by Senator Jeff Bingaman, holds regular community meetings in southern New Mexico. They're used to gain input from residents and agents. In fact, that's where many of these suggestions came from. Another thing this group would like to see is the utilization of the National Guard to cover more of the area. The National Guard has four helicopters. Two of them have infrared cameras. Back to you, Kim. Okay, thanks, Catherine. Now, at this point, it's unclear how much this would all cost. As you know, finding money is always tough.